Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna edit a couple photos uh, from the XF uh, 23 mm f 1.4 Fuji Film uh, XT3. So uh, by the way, I'm using the Capture One, and if you want to download a trial, you can use the trial link in the in my uh, the subscription. Sorry, the description below. So just to uh, if you want to support my channel, you can download the uh, trial version. For 30 days with the full features of the capture one so let's get started so i just want to check out uh how's the sharpness uh compared to the uh light room so it's uh the initial load is pretty good and i have the background that's the light room uh one to one um you can see the difference between the light room version Initial load uh, from the Lightroom has uh, more noise or the ISO uh, 1000 and uh, let me check about the same size you can see the rendering a little bit different and um, right now without the sharpening and let me go to the one uh, two to one and you can see the uh, pixel the warming effect also uh, so it happens to all the lenses uh, for the twin, uh, for the Fujifilm lenses. So capture one initial load uh, feels uh, smoother. Um, let me apply some sharpening in here. Um, first thing, because the background is not uh, like too blur out in the back, we can do the uh, layer also like last time. So if you don't want the background to get uh, the adjustment, you can do it this way. And what I'm gonna do is uh, just do the around this area. So just do a quick because uh. I just want certain area to be sharpening and then the background is fine we can leave it there and we can add a little bit in the background for the this one also but uh, right now for now let's focus on the front uh, right now and then um, what we are gonna do so this one just leave it Luminance, uh, just leave it uh, like that. I want to sharpen in the mount. So about around 200 radius. Uh, probably around around one. Threshold. I'm gonna reduce more in this case. And then overall, the luminance in the background, you can see that it affects a lot. Uh, by default, is uh, the noise reduction. If you uh, reduce to eight, it has a, a lot more noise uh, for that. I think that was the default noise reduction. I'm gonna put it at forty-four just to try out. Maybe around 41, so the overall uh, sharpness increase a little bit, radius slightly reduce. Okay, so that's the background, and then that's the adjustment layer on top of that. And um, let me do a before and after. So before and after. You can see the noise level also increased because we added the um, luminance. So let me do a 45. Yeah, that's the indoor and outdoor is uh, much sharper on the edges of the grasses and uh, um, the edge of the person also. Um, yeah, so right now the next one let's do it uh okay let me check the adjustment layer since uh we are here let me just add the adjustment to here also just 
for the shoes because uh, this is in the same plane. Okay, so that's good. And then um, on the background, I can adjust a little bit of the contrast. And then brightness, uh, we can adjust a little bit. And then dynamic range, reduce the highlight save. So color editor, if you don't want too much of the yellow, you can reduce that so that the wall looks uh, cleaner also. And then uh, we can do some patching on the wall also. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so that's good. Uh, it looks uh, sharper right now. Um, so, so that's the Lightroom one, and then this is the uh, Capture one. And I can apply the adjustment layer uh, later, but uh, let me let me apply the adjustment. Maybe not adjustment, just uh, just do the cropping first. Because of Instagram, so slightly on top like that. The Instagram size is like that. Um, and then, okay. And this one, let me paste that. Slightly adjust the adjustment layer. Increase the contrast. Okay, I'm going to increase the sharpening among right there and then radius slightly. And then the background. You can increase the brightness right there. So yeah, these are the quick things. Uh, the main, uh, the main one, the main picture in this one, um, we did a quick comparison with the one that in Lightroom. It looks uh, pretty good. So, uh, so anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more video coming up. If you like to download the trial version, you can try it in the description below. Try the link and then. Uh, if you help my channel also. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.